away if you work from home Wednesday, I'm going to do a falafel sandwich. Uh, we're gonna do this the quick way because we're gonna get lunch done in less than an hour, uh, but at least it'll give you an idea of what to do for dinner. Now I have made falafel uh, from scratch before and that might be something that I do on a weekend or when I have more time in the evening. Today I'm going the quick and easy route with this Nor falafel mix. So for one packet of the mix, you just um, add in one third cup of water and two extra spoons of water and I'm just gonna mix it up. So then I'm just gonna take these and now that the mix is done, just make little like small patties. And because you all know I like to keep it healthy, I'm throwing these in the air fryer. Now they do typically say you don't really need oil for the air fryer since it uses uh, convection, but I just add a little bit of Pam oil. Uh, I just spray it. So we have the little falafel patties on the air fryer or in the air fryer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I like to use the hamburger setting. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start it. I believe last time I did increase the temperature a bit to like 420. We've got the falafel cooking in the air fryer. While the falafel patties are cooking in the air fryer, I'm making my own uh, tzatziki sauce with some cucumber, garlic, dill, and um, yogurt. I'm gonna go ahead and add some fresh ground pepper to it. So the falafel have been in the air fryer for about seven minutes. I'm just gonna turn them over now. All right, so now the uh, falafel patties are totally cooked. What I like is that they're kind of uh, crispy on the outside, but then a little bit soft on the inside, which is just how we want them. So I'm going to start to assemble my sandwich. I've put a little bit of hummus. This is Sabra uh, Supremely Spicy Hummus, uh, some cucumber and some red onion. I'm also in love with these Hungarian peppers and they add a nice little kick, uh, a surprising little kick. So I'm going to add a few slices of those as well. Now I've gone ahead and uh, put some Sabra Supremely Spicy Hummus on the bread and I've used cucumber, red onion, and some feta. If you want cheese to make it all uh, stick together, go for it. That's what I do for Jis because he likes hot sandwiches. I throw this into the panini press and in a couple minutes, it'll be ready. So that was the semi-homemade way to make the falafel sandwich, and one day I will show you how to do the falafel from scratch. But for now, back to work.